definition of self-love. Yes. So that's what, what brought us all together. We all have similar experiences, similar insecurities, and we're just about to touch on that. So let me just introduce you guys. Who are these lovely ladies with me? So, Hi, my name is Fanny and I'm also a YouTuber, so you can check me out at Fanny Wright. AKA Shani, and you can check me out at LA Curls. She'll put it on the screen because it's spelled different. Hey, okay. Toya, what is your biggest insecurity? My greatest insecurity growing up was definitely my teeth. <laughs> and like, honestly, <laughs> no, 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 I, I have a lot of work done to my teeth, and the thing is, I paid for it all myself. Wow. So it wasn't just my teeth. I mean, of course, growing up, it what made my teeth issue even more accentuated was I, my birthmark is directly above my lip. So sometimes I conceal it, sometimes I don't, but. I would be out in public and people will have a like, like little children will come up to me and ask me, what is that on your lip? And I'm like, that's my birthmark. So I can't, I can't like, what is about going it. on? But it used to make me feel kind of weird. But yeah, back to my teeth. So, um, I, yeah, what happened I you? did suck my tongue growing up. So even still, I still <laughs> suck my tongue when I'm sleeping, maybe. I try not to do it, but... Me sucking my tongue growing up, I had an overbite. Yeah, so when people just started making it more noticeable that, hey, you don't have perfect teeth, that's what made me aware that my teeth wasn't perfect. Mm -hmm. So what made me actually start fixing my teeth and stuff was, um, I had a story I was telling Fanny the other day. I went to this party. There was this little girl that was younger than I was, but much bigger than I was because when I graduated school, I was like 80 pounds. So, long story short, she jumped on my back, chipped two of my teeth, one being in the very front, and my immediate thought, like even though I was bruised up and bloody, my immediate thought was my teeth! Oh, wow. And I was like, I'm like already don't have perfect teeth, and she just pretty much messed up my mouth. Like I had, I would punch my her. teeth were grated down to like half of it. Like, wow. So, and it was two at it. So, but the one on the side wasn't that noticeable, but the front I had to get a bonding placed on. So that was the first thing that I had to do. So after I got that bonding, it just encouraged me to get braces. I saved and I was on a payment plan. I paid for my own braces. And after I got the braces, what people don't tell you is sometimes, well, I don't know if it was the fall and also the tension from the braces, but eventually the front, my front tooth started dying a slow death. So once the braces came off, um, I had to get a root canal, I had to get a crown, and all of this, of course, costs money. And if you're not from the Bahamas, dentistry is very costly over here. Everything so, is very costly over here. Um, having to pay for that on my own was definitely an experience, but I remember when I first got my braces, my sister told me I looked like a frog. Like, cause there's this frog at the, at the um, orthodontist that has braces and my teeth look like chiclets with braces on it. Oh. So when I had braces, I know he used to like smile a lot. Wow. And I had braces twice because after they took it off, my overbite started coming because my permanent retainers wasn't holding, and I had to got the top, I had to get the top put on once again. And then after that was off, I still had that when I was seeing that there was the slow death in my front tooth, root canal, um, crown. Now there was the issue with my retainers because. Now, after getting the work done to so that tooth, it started shifting, and actually, my crown teeth, which is this one right here, it still shifts if I don't wear my retainers regularly. But I do find that, like, I don't smile as often. I don't, I don't feel like my smile is the same, like, of course, as it was when my teeth were what some would consider bad because you know it was like an overbite, but. My smile isn't the same as it was because I used to, like I said, I used to smile all the time and just having braces and having people point out my insecurities yeah. was, it was just a lot to deal with. Okay. So would you say that you're still getting over, have you over, did you overcome it already or are you still overcoming it? Because you're like, <laughs> I got it yeah. done and I still don't think well, I'm like, yeah. I'm looking at you and I'm like, what you, you can't, I can tell unless I'm like, yeah, like, <laughs> like I still don't think that 
that my teeth are perfect, but of course it's just like, um, it's probably never going to be perfect. It's just that part of dentistry that people really don't tell you. So no matter how much money you spend fixing your teeth, you might not get the results that you want. It might be an yeah. improvement, but the improvement starts from within. You have to learn to love yourself and just love the way that however you may look. Because the braces, the crown, the anything that you have done, it's just not going to fix how you feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to start there. So what helped me do it, I mean, it may seem kind of weird, but my, just going natural for me helped me to embrace just however I look, mm -hmm. that's fine by me. Mm -hmm. And I look beautiful the way that I am. It doesn't matter what other people around me are saying. And I don't feel like people... People have so much to say when it comes yeah. to what you should look like. So much like say. you have dentists that doesn't have perfect teeth but tell you what exactly. your teeth should look like and people should not depict what you should look like. You know what you look like, you know what you should look like and just don't listen to anyone around you in terms of when it comes to, you know, there's this thing wrong with you, that thing wrong with you. Because I can tell that same person who's telling me that these things are wrong with me, a ton of stuff that are wrong with them, but I would never point it out because yeah. I'm not that type of person. Yeah. So just, you'd have to just really be strong and just really know and love yourself and every detail of yourself. Just learn to love it, learn to appreciate it. Yes. So five tips. My five tips would definitely be just looking at yourself constantly when you wake up in the morning. Like, take a good look, let it all seep in. And also just, even though funny, like social media, because social media can be kind of mean. Yeah. And what you put out there, you definitely can't get back. Yeah. So. You definitely want to be careful what it is that you put out there because the second you put things out there, understand that you put yourself out there for people to criticize mm -hmm. you. So another tip would just be take a moment just to separate yourself from social media and just, you know, just kind of talk to yourself, see what it is that you don't like about yourself and how can you, what can you do realistically to improve what it is that you want to change about yourself. Um, set realistic goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but definitely it's good to look back at the past and look at old pictures, old videos, because it shows you just your glow up and just how much you've changed and you'll be surprised how much you've changed. Because I've had girls who say, oh, my hair feels like it hasn't grown in three years. Look at a picture of your hair from three years ago. Yeah. I'm sure you yeah. can see some slight difference in it. So don't ever, like erase the past just keep holding on to it like not in life now like, we're yeah. not talking about <laughs> men and stuff like that just, but yeah just when it comes to things about yourself yeah. keep it just as a reminder of what you should not let yourself get back to yeah so thank you so much for watching guys and please be sure if you want to hear funny story um my mom actually used to say oh you fat oh you fat oh you need to lose weight oh you need to watch your weight i remember i was dating at the time a shiny story and it got so bad in high school not junior high and senior high i was walking minding my own business and i heard someone say oh she has aids and <laughs> Go and check out their YouTube video and it will be in the description down below. Please like and please subscribe for more videos. Bye! <laughs>